Welcome back, Wolfpack, to the channel. I hope we're all doing well. Uh, we are back in Skyrim. We are back with Draco. And honestly, I it has been a while since I have recorded. It's actually been a couple days, but overall, I would say, give or take a couple days. I've been streaming mostly. Um, I haven't really been pumping out videos for you guys, but I love streaming. I really do. Um, but, uh, that is not the bulk of my content. Um, but I do love hanging out with you guys in streams and, and everything. Um, but what we are going to be doing, well, okay. So first of all, mod changes. One is that I have switched out my EMB to Ice Vogel EMB, um, and everything. So, um, hello, friend. Hello. Um, because... As Heavy Burns said when he reviewed this EMB, it reminds me a lot about a, a lot about a lot of um, Witcher Three. Um, obviously, due, due to the controversy surrounding um, the Witcher series, uh, the Witcher Netflix TV series, I was like, um, but I still love the Witcher um, franchise. I just didn't like the show. I liked the first season, but didn't didn't like the second or third season. Um, but, uh, in any case, it does kind of remind me a lot about, um, Toussaint in, um, in a lot of ways, and it shows, <laughs> it definitely shows. So what, okay, first of all, I'm going to turn off the EMB. Uh, or the depth of field just to kind of get back frames um i basically in in a lot of ways um well okay so first of all um i'm going to and it crashed no it didn't what is going on here what is this frame rate? My God. I don't know what it is about Whiterun that causes me so many frame drops. Oh, well. It wouldn't be, be a Fenrir recording without something going wrong. I even lowered my any settings. My God. <laughs> I'll have to lower them uh, further. I'll have to lower them further. I'm tempted to turn off my webcam just to, for the sake of this, but I don't want to. Just so you don't have to see my struggling camera or, or my web, my struggling webcam, just, you know, try to make sense of the frame drops. My Lord, please. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Valgrath is not receiving visitors. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on, then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Hopefully you guys don't hear the um, so cleaners you outside. Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? The dragon destroyed Helgen, and last I saw it was headed this way. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger if that dragon is lurking in the mountains. The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough! Not... I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. 
There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. They all said you had a pro that you had a project you needed help with. Hmm? What project? You think you could help me? Yes. I really don't think so. Soul, isn't it dangerous to leave a village soul, soul gem near near an unwarded pentacle? Pen pentacle? I don't know what that is. Where? I would never. Ah, I see. You are a fellow enchanter. Please forgive my earlier rudeness. I am so often interrupted by visitors wandering in. I can occasionally become quite savage. No now, shit. What did you say you wanted? The Jarl has said you had a project you needed help with. Ah, indeed? The Jarl. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch... I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. All right, where am I going and what am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. You mean this soul stone? Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes they are foists on me. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Wait for me. I serve Yara. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. From Adrian? Ah, this must be that weapon for the Yarl. Poor girl. Thank you. Please, take these few coins for services rendered. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irlet, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both. This is better.
of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. Get me out of the slaggy ass area. Something's messed up. Something's causing my game to lag so much. Could be my computer. I don't know. If it is my computer, I just need a new one. This war is as stupid as our feud with Clan Grey Main. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Kidderet, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. How did you save us? It's a dragon. No, no shit, Sherlock. Fort 
for me, dragon. Uh, not really. That's it. We'll bring that bastard down. Come on, fight back. I'll kill you. Take him down. Ooh, Wakaberry boots. I mean, why not? I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. What do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I don't know what happened to me. Well, you can shout now. You couldn't before, right? That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragon born. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tybersen. Eh, you can have a discussion amongst yourselves. I don't really care. I mean, I do care, but not really. By the way, if you want to know what grass mod I'm using, it's uh, Skulklindy. I might actually change it, actually. For some reason, my OBS is dropping frames. I don't know why. A little bit of lock spike, but that's okay. Listen, it's my first recording back. Give me a break. <laughs> Whatever I did is irrelevant. I'll fix it later. I will fix it later. It's my first recording back in a while. You know. Because I have two profiles currently. And. Um, one is more. Ultra. The other is more performance friendly. Supposedly. So whatever I did to my any settings. Um. I'll have to fix it later. I just want to get a video out for you guys because I think you've been patient enough. So stuttering or not. Look, you already have been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't force you in jail. I get lost, he says.
as well do this quest while I'm at it. I spend so much time among. Tell me, do you believe in mighty RK, God of life and death? I'm glad to know that because I need your help. You see, I've lost something precious. What did you lose? My amulet of RK. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I fear the dead have become restless. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? Sure. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. The blessing of RK be upon you. But you're wearing... You know what? I don't get that. I, he's wearing what? Never mind. Hello there. I spend so oh thank RK please take this gold for your troubles it was a pleasure you cheap bastard You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Yes, it was. I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? 
So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Hrothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Lead the way. You're a good man, my Thane. We're lucky to have you watching over us. That was random. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. And we'll pay good money for information.
Mm. It's always good to see hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. What can I make that will um put my thing over the top? I mean this could. See you. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. But she doesn't have any steel ingots. God damn it. <laughs> uh, damn it. I'm Jack all. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Random. I mean, hello, the finest weapons and armor. Some of you have at least corundum. You have corundum ore, but not corundum ingots. Thanks for the business, bruh. Let me know if you see anything you like. Welcome to war, man. Holy Nothing. crap, dude. You... Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Good doing business with you. Let's smith some stuff. I mean, that definitely put me over to the edge. Nothing else. What can I do? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Until next time. <clears throat> Simple enough. How's it going? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything.
Yes, I know I'm carrying too much weight. A poke blade, huh? Clip shield, huh? What the hell is this? Good to see you. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Don't forget to. All right, off to High Rothgar. Slowly but surely, leveling up my smithing.
First time I've ever seen two sp two spiders fight. Is this a random encounter or some shit? <laughs> Must be. Two fucking giant frostbite spiders. And twisting. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I actually, uh, actually never seen that random encounter before. to accomplish are you now come back here saber tooth tiger Back here. <laughs> Boy. We're gonna get killed for something. Wait, what happened? Where'd he go? What the? The fuck? Uh, okay. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. If the super two tiger just yitted himself out of existence, I don't know. My knee. Since I installed a bunch of... Installed a Valthai mod. Get wrecked.
must have run off. There you are. Someone there. No one's here, but us chickens. Just getting jumpy, I guess. What was that? Come on. Where'd that bear go?
since I crashed the last time going up to High Rothgar, I I don't trust this game. I mean, I, I don't trust that my game won't crash. Oh, hello, troll. This one has something sweet for the fellow traveler. The finest skooma, the sweetest moon sugar, at a fair price, of course. Ah, snitch, eh? Can't have you running to any guards now, can I? You're dead. You can't win this! Victory. Uh, Luckily, I saved. It's a crap. It's not like I was recording or anything, game. What was my last save? Luckily, I don't have to fight the dragon anymore. Actually, hold on. Now that I think about it. Um, and task. Just to save a little bit of performance. And disable all my EMB stuff. And then get rid of the said E and beam. Hold on, give me two seconds. Hold on. 
because I am actually getting tired of the crashes. And plus, I'm getting tired of the brain drops, so. That. Or uncheck that. Uncheck this. That should. And actually. I'm going to get rid of the lighting as well. Lighting mod. Or do I want to? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. But yeah, I just I just want to get through this recording. And everything. I'll mess with lighting and everything later. <laughs> Come on, game. There we go. There we go. Let me back in the game. Luckily, I saved on my way to Irothgar. Yeah, not too far. Not too bad. Oh, hold on. I forgot. There's one particular mod that, um, um, that unfortunately causes me issues every time I install it in task. So I have to put it back in and it's called, I know what mod it is. I know what mod it is. It's the frozen combustion elements, whatever mod. Because for some reason, um, every time you get rid of that mod, it prevents you from entering the game or disable it or whatever, which is kind of screw screwed up. Honestly, I think it's heavily scripted or it's script heavy. I'm just running loot real quick. Hold on. It's not like I was recording or anything, game. Hopefully this is the last time that I have to do this. Come on. What is... OK. 
Okay. What is the red flag? Oh. That's what it is. Uh, I hope you all are doing well. Sorry for the technical difficulties. But this is what modded Skyrim is. It's my 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 save is so broken. It's just so broken. <laughs> it's so broken. So fucking broken. I can't wait to just be done with this save and although I look, I, I think Draco was my favorite character uh character that I character that I made. Char favorite character out of all the characters I've made. Because I didn't want hundred percent everything, but I had fun with it. And plus, I've never played a Breton before up until this point or, or up um, up until like last because I've always played Nords. I've always played Nords, no matter what I do. I've always played Nords. All right, bruh. Uh, Hold on, I need to plug in my controller. It's died. It did died.
What is this what is with all these trolls? The fuck? Never mind the spiders, what's with all the trolls? Rabbit suck. I know. Rock? What? Okay. Bandits attacked and ransacked my cart. Can you help me? What can I do for you? My camp is nearby in the ruins of Nilheim. Get me there safely, and you'll be rewarded. I told you. I don't know anything else about it. Well, ain't that the truth of it? All right, then. Let's see what you've got. Killing you will make for an excellent story. You picked a bad time to get lost, you stupid brat. Come on! himself gets surrounded.
deserve to live. Get it. You will die. This one didn't deserve to live. Yes. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Huh. I don't think I've ever gotten a letter for her from her. I'm actually genuinely curious about that. What kind deed did I actually do? I don't know. It is one of the great mysteries of the world. your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not to passing through. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. 
The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Be Aren't careful the up there. Some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Fuck. Why were all my shots missing? No idea. Yeah. This is where I crashed last time. I'm gonna make a save just in case.
bro. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Oh, troll. Come down here. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning mm. of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. Oh my but goodness. Do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. We 
Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. You learn a new word like a master. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of rope. Give me your knowledge. Now, let us see how quickly you can master your new thumb. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Well done. Again. You learn quickly. Once more. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. Thank you, Sensei. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Could follow them. Jesus, man. Completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you Wold, which means whirlwind. Wold. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Fun fact. Um. Approach Master Bori, and he will gift you his knowledge of Wold. Now we will see how quickly you can master a new shout. Fun fact, um, if you learn the first two words of Whirlwind Sprint, um, some very interesting dialogue happens with them. It's like, oh, I see you've already started to learn Whirlwind Sprint. Let me teach you the third word then. <laughs> Essentially, that's what they do, which I, I I didn't know that for the longest time, but it was like, oh, that's cool. Master Bori, Vex. Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Your quick mastery of a new thumb is uh, 
Astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you know you are ready to speak to him. As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Wind, guide you. Ah. Oh. Well, what are these two doors? Oh. Anyways. Anyways, guys, I will leave the episode there. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy it. Comments your thoughts down below and subscribe if you want to go the extra extra mile. It really does help me out. Um, but yeah, um, I'll figure out, you know, um, this little performance issue later or probably next recording. But anyways, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me. Sorry about the scuffness. It's my first recording back in a heavily modded setup. I've been so used to playing ESO with smooth frame rates and everything that I forgot how messed up my load order is and how I pretty much need need, need to do um, like pretty much a major cleanup. So um, I'll do that and whatever I decide to do and everything so anyways uh i'll catch you on the next one bye guys